you look terrible. Oh. How's everybody doing? Hey. Hey. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Kind of a large crowd, so just bear with me as I speak. If I lose my voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> my name is Deputy Stephen Huckabee. I'm a canine handler with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. And this is my boy, my partner, 24-7, canine con. Oh. Con is a Belgian Malinois. You. And he comes to us from the Netherlands, out of Europe, which is really cool. What, what happens is we actually have vendors who go overseas and they purchase our dogs for about ten to $12,000 and bring them back to the States. And then we choose from there the dogs that we want to select to bring them to our unit. So Khan, uh, like I said, he's two years old, one of our newest dogs in the unit. We have about uh, 16 dogs right now, two of those being bloodhounds. we got a mix of shepherds and Malinois. So Khan, heel. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, so, uh, so for the kids out there, who's watched Cops on TV? Kids? Yeah. Can you tell me what we do on a day-to-day -day basis at work? Anybody know what we do? Chase down bad guys? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we chase down bad guys. Anybody that commits a crime and runs on foot, a lot of times patrol will call the canine unit to come and track those guys down. And we'll find them hiding in woods and bushes, underneath houses. We find them on the rooftops. This is really cool. We find them. What else do we do? Anybody know? Paperwork. Tons of paperwork. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety-eight percent of our job is paperwork. Very good. What else do we do? Yes, we do have drug dogs. Very good. So, oh yeah. All right. We're actually going to be a drug dog later. I took mine already. Good. Oh. Interesting, you know. But uh, yes, we do separate drugs. Oh God, he's, he's interesting. He's a two-year-old dog. What a dog is he? Oh, he's doing something. Y'all want to see some bite work? Yeah. That's how He's two years old. That dog's young. He wants to go to work. He's excited. Oh. <laughs> so this is our first day on day shift. So we've been in a few months. So he's pretty good. He's just stuck to seeing so many people, you know? And that time it gets pretty lonely out there for us unless somebody runs from us. Hmm. So, um, but while we're waiting for you to do anybody have any questions so far? No. Anything? Yes. A diet. A diet. So our canine unit provides all of our food. And then once a month we give them trifexis and every night we give them a like a multivitamin pill uh, for their joints and things like that. Good question. He, no, no, not until he retires. <laughs> he uh, he has a kennel out back and uh, he stays back there. My uh, wife's three chihuahuas stay inside, they're lap dogs. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Eight months, but he's back full time now, looking looking better than ever. Uh -huh. As you can see, sometimes he'll still poke his leg out right here. Uh -huh. He sets it out because it's comfortable for him. Uh -huh. um, so injuries can determine a dog's retirement or age. Typically, seven to eight years old, and we'll retire a dog. Wow. He's two, so we got about five more years to go, and then he'll be home with me. Good. Uh -huh. Although he's home with me now. Yeah, Oh, he wants it. Oh god, he has a dummy. I'm ready. Oh, that's cute. Oh, he stood up.
Oh. <laughs> He's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> So Khan's going to have really good obedience. We train our dogs to have excellent obedience. He is a big liability with the sheriff's office and all of us. So we want to make sure he listens to his handler very good. He's not going to bite this leaf until I tell him to. Yeah. <laughs> 